It's 24 years since South Africa's highest achievement in rugby was also part of a turning point in the country's history. But now a team of players born in the early days of Nelson Mandela's rule is showing that the Springboks' victory at World Cup 1995 was not a false dawn as they prepare for Saturday's final against England. Mandela's presidency was just over a year old when he handed the trophy to captain Francois Pienaar, uniting a deeply racially divided country behind their team. Even so, the squad was all white, apart from winger Chester Williams, who died just two weeks before World Cup 2019 began in Japan last month. Now the team's first ever black captain, Sia Khaleesi, is leading a lineup studded with stars from the rural areas and the townships. Coach Rassi Erasmus achieving a step up in performance alongside the transformation of the squad's racial balance. I've had the privilege to see the team evolve, uh, you know, to get you know so many guys in of colour that are really you know have been uh, excellent and uh, you know are deserving of their places in the squad. So I think it's something that Rassi was pretty honest, you know, right from the onset that we need to get the balance correct and we need to get a team that really represents our country. And I think you know we have achieved that. A South African win on Saturday could have ripple effects beyond its borders. African rugby leaders believe the sight of a black African lifting the World Cup would give the rest of the continent a sporting icon it's been looking for. In Africa, despite all the talent we have, there's not the same opportunity. We have a million players. It's a big number, but it can triple, quadruple. There's no limit, and victory for the South African team representing Africa can help attract our youth towards this ideal of being the best in the world. Blocking the way in Yokohama will be a formidable England team whose own diversity has also been an advantage. Players of Nigerian and Pacific Island heritage, among others, making a traditional rugby powerhouse even stronger. England's performances so far make them favourites to repeat their World Cup triumph of 2003 and avenge their defeat to the Springboks in the final four years later. But with South Africa straddling both a traditional rugby territory and a potentially huge new one, victory for them here could mean lifting a continent as well as a cup. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Yokohama.